Now that you know more about the history of the space, let's take a walk around as I describe some of the programs that Collaboratory has to offer. The Southwest Florida Community Foundation works alongside donors, nonprofits, businesses, and community leaders to create a more sustainable region and world. Utilizing the causes as a part of a sustainability plan that is aligned with the Sustainable Development Goals provides the framework to organize, fund, and understand the impact of our efforts. In this new facility, the Foundation is set up to do even more for the regional community and beyond. The Foundation is responsible for the Community Impact Grant, which is a program that reflects the intent of donors who have entrusted their money to the Foundation. Foundation leaders recognize there are other important issues not funded by this program. The Foundation's Community Impact Grant has helped organizations such as the National Red Cross, Big Brothers, Big Sisters, the Calusa Water Keepers, and the Cape Coral Animal Shelter, as well as some educational and research initiatives at FGCU. The foundation has also awarded hundreds of dollars in scholarships to high school and college students to help them achieve their educational and career goals. The foundation is also working closely with the community to increase post-secondary attainment in Southwest Florida through a network called the Future Makers Coalition. This coalition aims to transform Southwest Florida's workforce by increasing the proportion of working age adults with college degrees, workforce certificates, industry certifications, and other high quality credentials to 55%. The coalition is made up of educators, workforce developers, business leaders, economic development professionals, government officials, residents, and students in Lee, Collier, Charlotte, Hendry, and Glades counties. This network starts with early childhood learning and ends with post-high school credential attainment and career connections. The coalition focuses on systems change to connect untapped workforce with the education and training to fill in-demand jobs by removing attainment barriers and creating a culture of career exploration and aspiration from an early age. The core values of Collaboratory are community, openness, collaboration, sustainability, and accessibility. Interactive events, day-to-day -day activities, as well as projects that bring different startups together all unite in collaboratory space in order to cultivate regional change for the common good. The design of the building itself reinforces these values and is a great example of sustainable land use and development in Southwest Florida. Collaboratory was designed and built to earn LEED Gold certification which stands for Leadership in Energy and Environmental Design. Here is more information about our LEED certification, as well as our efforts to be as sustainable as possible. Today we're going to talk a little bit about what's so exciting about the Collaboratory from a green and LEED point of view. I say green and LEED because there's a, there's a crossover there, both those concepts, and one of the main things about this project that, that excites me the most about its sustainability is the decision by the foundation to reuse an existing building was a, a basic early decision that had a huge impact on, on this project in terms of its sustainability. Because we didn't uh, have to build a new building, we were able to avoid all the, the uh, greenhouse gases and carbon footprint of having to build a new building. So all the other elements of the building that really are a big part of this project are, are energy and IEQ. So I'll talk about energy first. This project chose to incorporate a system that uh, allowed us to reduce the outdoor air quantity by half of a conventional building. We didn't use prescriptive measures to identify the outdoor air. We used an IEQ procedure, which led us to uh, what I'll call a cutting edge technology using an air scrubber. Uh, this building has an air scrubber that continuously cleans the air and allowed us to introduce a much lower quantity of outdoor air. And the benefit of that is the lower quantity of outside air means that the energy impact of constantly cooling and dehumidifying that outside air stream throughout the lifespan of the building has a, 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 a beginning and full-time energy benefit to the project. The scrubber system provides a proactive means to clean the air on an ongoing basis, which you know, uh, provides a benefit to all the occupants and visitors to the building. Uh, it's a molecular level scrubber uh, technology similar to that used on submarines for the U.S. Navy. 
Other elements of the project that the, the foundation is committed to is indoor plants. There are going to be a, a, a greenscape uh, component to the project which provides also natural filtering of the air for all the occupants and visitors of the building. Such a huge benefit that you know, most projects don't go to that level to make sure that uh, the IEQ components are, uh, are met and exceeded in this case. Uh, another fundamental decision made in terms of IEQ was the use of low VOC components throughout the building. And that, that is all the paints, all the coatings, and all the elements of the building that add to the finishes of it, including the furniture for the building. The uh, approach to stormwater management of the project incorporated permeable uh, pavers throughout the, the site, uh, which allowed for uh, you know, achieving an extraordinary number of 98% of stormwater retainage on site. Basically, the, the permeable paving and the manner in which the civil engineer and landscape architect designed the project mean that we can guarantee that only 2% of the rainwater leaves the site. Uh, associated with that inside the building is the selection of low water use plumbing fixtures uh, throughout. This basically, this decision made at the very beginning of the design process and followed through by the contractor allows us to basically identify that we're going to use less than half of the water uh, on a monthly basis of a conventional office building that might otherwise have chosen just standard fixtures. The project uh, incorporated uh, through partnership with FPNL energy trees that are on the site. And uh, those energy trees allow uh, the project to claim uh, the uh, generation of renewable energy for the site. LEED is uh, leadership in energy and environmental design. It's a national standard uh, produced by the U.S. Green Building Council, intended to use as a measuring stick for uh, designers and operators of buildings for the sustainable uh, components and elements. It looks at uh, both site elements uh, and also the elements inside the building, including energy, water, materials, IAQ. Our project is choosing to uh, achieve LEED Gold, a significant uh, achievement in, in our community and certainly will be a model for uh, the local community and both nonprofits and for-profit uh, developers as they consider what sustainability means for them and how they might incorporate it in their building design and what the benefits are of, of a LEED uh, design building. We work closely with over 5,000 nonprofits throughout Southwest Florida and make it our job to stay updated regarding the work and needs of these organizations. If our donors have questions, we are able to guide them with first-hand knowledge and even set up site visits or tours. Since 2014, we have been working with our nonprofit grantees in a unique learning network because we believe that it is most effective to provide our nonprofit grantees with more than funding for their programs but also with support through coaching and group sessions with the nonprofit leaders. We are fortifying these organizations with skills and trainings to create healthier organizations and collaborative opportunities to benefit their missions and our community as a whole. In order to help these organizations grow, the Collaboratory also offers shared space for startup businesses, entrepreneurs, and even freelancers. The benefits to this space is that it affords startups with the ability to save money on office space. There are endless opportunities for community and collaboration, and the lively and dynamic atmosphere inspires productivity. When a startup becomes a subscriber to Collaboratory Space, they get a clean desk and access to high-speed Wi-Fi internet, as well as access to printing, copying, and our meeting and conference rooms. Co-collaborators who call Collaboratory Home share our commitment to creating sustainable solutions to Southwest Florida's pressing environmental, economic, and social challenges. This common bond connects a vibrant network of like-minded entities under one roof. Collaboratory tenants include Southwest Florida Children's Charities, At Southwest Florida Children's Charities, we are dedicated to saving children's lives 
by supporting the region's growing pediatric health care system. In 2019, a majority of the funds raised at our Southwest Florida Wine and Food Fest went to support local organizations providing services in children's health care and pediatric education, such as the Golisano Children's Hospital, Florida Southwestern State College, and Florida Gulf Coast University. Since 2008, Southwest Florida Children's Charities has raised more than $22 million for local organizations in our community. Second Muse. Second Muse is a global collaboration B Corp, uh, which means we focus on the good of a community and what benefits the community. We do that in a way that builds on our assets that we have uh, in Southwest Florida or the other communities that we serve and really build a 21st century resilient economy that looks like our community, not like another community. And we do that by supporting local entrepreneurs and businesses uh, and helping the people behind the business uh, as well as helping the business themselves. Ecomedes. Ecomedes is a startup focused on green products and making the world a better place through the built environment. We have the largest database in the world of high performance sustainable products that help you save watts, water, and money in the long term while helping protect the environment and being socially responsible. We have clients all around the world. We have the federal government as a client, the state of California, we're working with the University of California, my alma mater, UF, and with the collaboratory to make it easier for any type of a building to find the better ingredients that make that a better product. The Ingenuity Lab. The Ingenuity Lab is a place where people can explore ideas that help to advance their mission, whether in private business or nonprofit organizations or large corporations across the country. It's a place to understand how to be more high performing as you advance the important work that you do, from consulting to workshops to seminars to keynotes. Our desire is to help you perform better as a team so you can advance the work that matters to you. And Captains for Clean Water. We're Captains for Clean Water, an organization founded here in Fort Myers by fishing guides in response to the declining water quality of the Clusatchee River and the local estuaries. We saw a need to get our community and our industry involved in the efforts to advance water quality improvements throughout the state of Florida. We're not going to fix this problem alone. It's going to take a collective effort from people throughout the community getting involved, other organizations, individuals, scientists, all working together to help make a lasting difference for future generations. Collaboration and unity is what it's all about, and that's why we're moving into Collaboratory. You may have already seen some of these rooms in the virtual walk around, but Collaboratory offers a multi-purpose room, a classroom, an idea room, a board room, a community foundation only room, a lobby area, east open air space, west open air space, co-collaborator space, in addition to a kitchen and cafe equipped with reusable supplies as Collaboratory is a plastic-free facility. Thank you for tuning in to what we hope was an informative tour about the multifaceted nature of sustainability in action. We here at Collaboratory strive to facilitate economic, social, and environmental sustainability to achieve our mission of cultivating regional change for the common good. At the end of this video, there will be a list of resources for you to take advantage of if you would like to learn more about our organization, the programs mentioned, or the steps we are taking towards a more sustainable future. To conclude this tour, I leave you with the famous quote that will hopefully get you thinking about your role in constructing a more sustainable and equitable future. If not us, who? If not now, when?